welcome to my YouTube channel. Guys, I know it's been a while, and especially on this topic, and yeah, I wanted to share with you my new first aid kit. Um, it comes in a new pouch, and I've got several new items in here, and yeah, this is uh, so far the most comprehensive EDC first aid kit I put together, and this really fits into my cargo pocket, so I have this with me at all time. And yeah, it's good to have with you at all time because last week me and my wife we traveled uh, to Spain to Gran Canaria and I had to break into this kit and well, get a few minor things like uh some some uh band-aids and and stuff like that. So <laughs> really minor things, but it's always good to have something capable on you. So I will show you what's in here. First of all, a visual indication that this is a first aid kit. I think I will get one that says first responder or first aid or something like this because this uh, is a little bit too wide and this could easily wear off but at least I got something on here. Um, by the way, this is a Tasmanian Tiger pouch. This is the Tech Pouch 2 if I remember correctly and for your convenience I will include a link in the video description so you can see it for yourself. Okay, first item already flew out. This one is completely chock full, so you have to be careful when you open this. And let's start with one of the most uh, important items. So I've got one pair of nitrile gloves in this Ziploc pouch so they don't get damaged. Yeah, very important. I um, choose the color blue on purpose because you can uh, see blood on them really, uh, really, really easy. But like the tactical black ones, which I wanted to get first, so blue and nitrile, so that you can treat everybody with this, even if they are allergic to latex or uh, vinyl. So, uh, um, yeah, good pair of nitrile gloves. Second, and also very easy to reach, some EMT shears. This is the short version. This is 14 and a half centimeters, if I remember correctly, overall length. So very compact and they fit snugly into this case. And I tried them out. They are very capable. You can cut through uh, jeans material and stuff very, very easy. And you should always have a good pair of shears. Okay, then let's get the loose content out of the way. So I got a syringe. This is a 10 milliliter syringe and I got two 21G um, needles with it. This is the, these are two inch versions and these go in conjunction with, um, I don't know how you call it in English. This is a uh, Na uh, natrium chloride, so natrium chloride, I think, um, solution. This is for flushing out wounds and for um, for an eye wash. So always good to have if you're on the go and you don't have access to clean drinking water, because uh, the solution is sterile and you're not going to be contaminating the wound with it. And this is also a 10 milliliter bottle. This is one way use, you just twist it open, use one of your 21G needles, stick it in there and yeah, you can flush out the wound or clean your eye or whatever you need to do. Okay, and now you can see the basic layout of this. On the bottom here I have a SWAT T tourniquet, really really good compact tourniquet. As you can see here this is the um, item that uses most of the bottom space and it folds over on this side where there's basically nothing so you were about to close it up this way the kit is also very compact you can um, yeah compress it a little bit more so if you don't have that much space in your cargo pocket you can strip it down a little bit and it will still be useful but don't forget into 
put in back the nitro gloves. Okay, so we got the tourniquet, and then we got a bandage. This is a um, specialized bandage. This is treated with aluminum on the um, yeah on the on the on your compress, and this is so that it doesn't stick to a to a ah, to a burn. Yes, to a burn. <laughs> Sometimes I just forget the words. And also, it's um, very capable in sucking up the blood. Then we got a standard roll of gauze. This is an 8 centimeter variant. Then, of course, we got some medical tape and some metal tweezers. And now, in the bottom, I've got some more items. These are all basically in their own Ziploc baggies. And that's it. Just a nice mesh pocket. And we've got a few alcohol wipes. 70% isopropyl alcohol. So these are gonna burn good. <laughs> then we've got a hand cleansing towelette for um, yeah, for 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 your skin, for your treated person. Then we've got the tourniquet marker on which you're gonna read down uh, write down the time when you apply the tourniquet that's very important because um, the risks that you encounter um, rapidly increase if uh, yeah over time then we've got a mylar blanket this is a bigger version this is 160 by 210 centimeters the standard gold silver one but very very good to have especially now in the winter time then we've got another of those um, aluderm this is how you call it um, this is what they call the quick bandage it's basically your, um, your your compression gauze and then you've got one meter or one meter and thirty um, of gauze to wrap it up and that's very very compact it's basically only as, thi uh, as thick as your standard um, compress which is this so this is a 10 by 10 or for your Americans 4 by 4 inches compress fold it down to fit in here and this is a complete bandage so very cool but these are also relatively expensive these are about 2 euros where these are like 10 cents. Okay, and last but not least, we have some medication. So let's open this up. Well, first of all, no real first aid kit can live without some band aids or plasters. This is a complete set of it, and these are also aluminum treated. So they won't stick to a wound. They are very, very absorbent. They are super sticky on basically any surface. And they got everything. You've got your strips, uh, the large ones, the small ones. Then you've got your fingertip bandages and your knuckle bandages. So everything you could possibly need right in this pack. And then we got the medication. So I wrote down everything on this list right here and you've got your paracetamol, this is I think Tylenol in English, and you've got your ibuprofen and you've got uh, Aleve which is naproxone, uh, at least the, the stuff that works, <laughs> then you've got your diclofenac, um, some caffeine, uh, then some Anti, anti anti stomach thickness uh, pills. Then you've got salt, two packets of it. And you've got these little guys. This is magnesium and calcium. And then I've got my personalized um, ration for 48 hours of medication that I need. And I also wrote down how much each dose is. 
and um, the, the, the date. So let's get this out. By the way, these are really cool because these are the direct versions so you don't need something to drink. You just pop these open and you're good to go. They don't taste very good but hey, better than nothing. And then we've got this small pillbox container that I basically cut in half and in here I've got all my medications because as you can see here most people just carry them in their Ziploc bag and then the pills or the packaging that protects them gets crushed up like you can see here the little foil is a little bit beat up and I wanted to solve this problem so I got a really really flat container this is I think about an inch or so in height um, so that they don't get crushed up all the way. Now, you can see this. can open every flap individually. This is, by the way, the caffeine. And this is a little salt packet that I folded over this. And you might ask, why does a guy apply salt in the first aid kit? Well, um, when I plant this kit, I didn't have this solution and so my thought process was okay maybe you've got access to clean water then you can basically um, get a measuring cup or a bottle or something then you can pop in the salt <coughs> mix it up take your syringe and then clean out the wound or clean out the eye but <coughs> that of course is a longer process so it's not really practical but my second thought and this is the reason why it's still in here is uh, if someone gets dehydrated and he really needs some uh, fluids replenished you don't just want to give them plain water so I thought okay um, I could give them water I could put in some salt basically like this so 0.9% and then also you can give them one of these which is magnesium, calcium, um, D3 and I think also D6 vitamins so that they got a good um, base and that they rehydrate really fast. So that's basically the my thought process why I put in the salt and also it doesn't take up space. Could of course also put a little bit of sugar here I just don't have the room because as you saw it's pretty stuffed uh, the way it is yeah so um, if you found this helpful interesting whatever please leave me a comment and I see you in the next one